பார்க்காதீங்க கொஞ்ச நேரத்துக்கு அப்பா அதை ஜாயின் பண்ண முடியாது இப்பதான் உங்களுக்கு <laughs> கேக்குதுங்களா ஒரு ஃபைவ் டு டென் மினிட்ஸ்ல ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிடலாங்க ஒரு ஃபைவ் டு டென் மினிட்ஸ்ல ஃபைவ் டென் மினிட்ஸ்லயா ஃபைவ் டு டென் மினிட்ஸ்ல எல்லா அசம்பிளும் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிடலாம் ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ் இல்ல ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ் ஓகேவா ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ் ஓகே இன்னொரு ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ் ஷேர் பண்ணுறதா எல்லாம் ஜாயின் பண்ணுவாங்க ஒரு டைம் ஓகே ஓகே
Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Anyone can? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Anyone? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay. Dengla. Jatuh mutra mana kaya dengla? Ya, ya. Oh, one two minutes ni. Okay, sure, sure. Shall we start? Yeah, sure.
Good afternoon and warm welcome to all who have gathered for the session on behalf of the Department of Chemistry, Savita Engineering College, Chennai. I appreciate everyone for joining with us for the today's international webinar on electrocatalytic degradation of air pollutant by cell induced by phase interface. The resource person for the today's event is Dr. G. Muthuraman, the research professor, Department of Environmental Engineering, Seoul National University of Science and Technology, South Korea. Now I request Professor Thirmalavan to deliver a welcome address. Thank you, Dr. Samila. Tidum Nanjum Piradaravara, Tinjuwe in Bam Tamil Taratira, Anne Tamilke, Mudalvanaka. Better afternoon, to everyone. Of course, better evening to the resource person. We, faculties of chemistry, are very happy to organize this international webinar on electrocatalytic degradation of air pollutants at gel induced interface, triphase interface in this wonderful evening. On this occasion, on behalf of our department, I am pleased to welcome today's guest speaker or resource person, Dr. G. Muthuraman, Professor, Department of Environmental Engineering, Seoul National University of Science and Technology, South Korea, who has readily accepted our invitation for this webinar to share his ideas and experience. I welcome you, Professor. I would also like to extend my warm welcome to the director, principal, dean, HODs, fellow faculties, and students of Savida Engineering College, and also faculties and students from other institutions also. Actually, intelligent is not an art, but how informative is the real art? Thus, I can say that the artistic and scientific experience and the ideas which he is going to share today with us will definitely be the catalyst for provoking our new ideas and thoughts towards the topic of today's talk. I can assure that this webinar will really enlighten us and will be highly useful for us to focus our various ideas and the new dimension of new research areas. So, looking forward to this session, sir. I'm sure that we are going to really enjoy this interesting session. Once again, I welcome you all for this wonderful international event webinar being organized in this wonderful occasion. So with this welcome note, I would like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you one and all. Thank you, Professor uh, Thirma Olavan. One second. Uh, Sharmila, ma'am. Sharmila, ma'am. Dr. Anand, associate professor, yes. is there? Yes, sir. It's audible, so, sir. Now I would like to call upon Dr. S. Anand, associate professor, to introduce the resource person to us. Thank you, sir. Please, Dr. S. Anand. Then. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, very good. Uh, good note to all. I take great privilege and to say a few words about today's guest speaker, Dr. G. Butraman. Research Professor, Department of Environmental Engineering, Seoul National University of Science and Technology, Seoul, South Korea. He has completed his undergraduate at Barbudasan University and postgraduate and PhD at University of Madras, Chennai in the year 2004. After completing his PhD, he started his career as postgraduate fellow from 2004 to 2005 at Basic Science Institute, Korea, and from 2005 to 2009, he acted as a senior postdoctoral researcher at National Chung Sing University, Taiwan. 
From 2010 to 2020, he worked as a senior research at Sunshan National University, Korea. Currently, is a research professor in the Department of Environmental Engineering, Seoul National University of Science and Technology, Seoul. His research interests include air and liquid pollutant removal, electrochemical cell design, and redox flow battery work. He has published 62 research findings in various reputed journals and holding three patents. He presented his research work in various international conferences and workshops, and he is a lifetime member in various research organizations. He received the Freinfeld Fellowship in the year 2010 from Korean government. With this short note, I welcome Dr. Chi Mutraman to start the lecture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your nice introduction in this session. Actually, thank you, sir. also, thank you. I'd like to thank you, Professor Thirma Olaman and Director, Principal Dean, Professor and HODs of Chemistry Department and all faculty. Actually, as introduced you to me in this session, so I, we, I have long history in the electrochemical field, but uh, not very deep uh, experiences, but my field of experience is mostly application to the air pollutant or effluent liquid pollutant. So today I'm going to share some of my experiences, how we came across the air pollut uh, pollutants removal from liquid phase to liquid air pollutants to air, uh, um, air pollutants or VOCs, gas pollutants. How we started and how we improved by step by step. First, small introduction about the air pollutant. I'm going to talk. Main topic is the electrocatalytic degradation of air pollutant at still induced dry space interface. What is uh, electrocatalytic? Sorry for the interruption, Dr. Mutraman. Uh -huh. Can you check your Okay, I'll check it. What about now? It's okay. Hello. Can you yeah, it's audible, but uh, uh, yeah, very low. Very low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Maybe you can increase the. What problem. about now? Oh ah, yeah, now fine. Now fine, fine. No problem. Yeah, uh, now fine, but I can't hear. Anyway, I can try. So. Uh, yeah, we started uh, here. I'm going to share some of my results as I mentioned. So first we can see a little about uh, air pollutants, especially how, what are the sources, many sources like mainly indoor air, paint and papers. So indoor air, so many paints we are using these paints slowly degraded to make a VOC as main. That means how its VOC is generated from the uh, paints or indoor walls. So it react with ozone or nitrate or terpenes. It will form so many VOCs in the indoor air, especially like uh, acetaldehyde, toluene, methane, everything, all mostly formaldehydes. Many VOCs are generated using just chemical reaction and indoor atmosphere with the ozone. So, so many methods are there, even though, so commercially available like bifiltration, ionization, photochemical oxidation, phytomediation. These are the techniques currently available to degradate or remove the pollutants to make it clean air. But it needs no huge area and money. So in order to reduce, so, so many categories 
they started and developed. Based on these technologies, so they categorized three main categories like commercialized technologies, non commercialization technologies, and promising technologies. The commercialized technologies come under like bifiltration, sodium reduction, plasma work, or gas based chemical reactions. But near commercialization technology is very small, but a solvate electron ionization, molten salt oxidation. But promising technology, why promising technologies? Actually, this uh, started uh, under UPA in 2004 to 10. They analyzed so many reviews and they mentioned and clarified are classified as promising technologies. Electrochemical oxidation, especially immediate electrochemical oxidation, is a promising technology for the future. And catalytic hydrogenation also. So why we need immediate electrochemical oxidation? It's very, very simple, but main point is, so the electron here used as a catalyst. That is a key point. So another many points like is versatility. That means we can increase the or uh, volumes. That means reaction volumes can be increased cubic centimeters a cubic meter. So another point is the reaction can be done at room temperature, atmospheric pressure. That's a very key point. Others, even if you go catalytic process, we need high temperature. That is the energy. So another thing is we can get selective product by simply controlling the potential. If you control the potential, the product can be easily separated or selected. Of course, automation also is possible. Energy wise, provide if properly used we can minimize the energy because we need energy, electric energy to apply current. So because of this, electrochemical technology is more advantageous than any other method, but still is uh, uh, not applicable to the industry because of uh, energy loss. So people, I mean, the current method of uh, electrochemical cell is not clearly minimize the energy due to the energy loss. Okay, anyhow, now we can see what are the stages of electrochemical technologies for the pollutant degradation. Actually, in basic H-type cell, this cell, they used pollutants to be, or I suppose air pollutants to be dissolved in the solution that solution directly removed by the electrodes like BDD, PT or PBO2 or carbon electrodes. So because of dissolved, here two problems is there. One is suppose a toluene or xylene or VOC is not dissolved into the liquid. It's very hard to dissolve. That means mass transfer problem is there. So even then, if you dissolve it some other cases, some other VOCs, the potential is very high because of uh, the energy need very high to oxidize or reduce the pollutants. So here, the reaction is solid and the liquid interface. Here. But next step, in order to minimize the energy, because you no, know, it needs high energy because of direct electrochemical oxidation, DEO. But to minimize, how to minimize the energy? Then we started to use like electron shuttlers, like called mediators. If you take cobalt, if you example here, cobalt is electrochemically oxidized to cobalt 3. Is cobalt 3 is active state of the cobalt? It will react to the pollutant. So cobalt 3 act uh, immediate electron to the uh, pollutant then we can get the product similarly why is mediation 
This is how the reaction is occurring. Why the media? What is the mediation here? See, if you go to direct electron uh, electrochemical oxidation, it needs sometimes a chemical toll even if you take. It needs no high oxidation. Sorry, some minus all. But if you use mediator like cobalt, it can be oxidized maybe plus 0.8 volt. That means you can energy you can minimize to 1.2 volt. So it's called catalytic oxidation or mediated electrochemical oxidation. This is how the uh, next stage of electrochemical is started for the pollutant degradation, both liquid as well as air pollutants. Here too, if you want to do air pollutant, you have to dissolve into the solution and it can be reacted by solid and solution interface. Here, another drawback in this step is even the solution phase is very hard to separate the products. Even if you minimize or remove the pollutant, the product's intermediate form is not easy to separate from the solution phase. That is a drawback. Of late, so in a nearly 2007 year, nearly, uh, people come up with some scrubbing, wet scrubbing column on the top of the electrochemical, I mean, catalyte tank or analyte tank. So here, the, the poly, air pollutant and electrogenated electrolyte or mediator or catalyst react at the column. So it, this column will do the role effectively effectively uh, made situation to effective for the effective reaction of air pollutant with electrochemical generator mediated. Here, in this case, me, suppose cobalt-3 gen, electrochemically generated, this cobalt-3 scrubbing will react with some air pollutants, many pollutants. But in the case of, if you look at the cathodic part, cathodic half cell, so it's merely used to close the circuit. That means this portion is completely unused. So in the case of no oxidation, anodic half cell, using so many soluble mediator like cobalt, manganese, silver, uh, cerium, so many ligand free catalyst of generator and variety of pollutants have been removed especially like socks nox water gases vivos dioxins they effectively removed by the electro scrubbing process here the reacting condition is liquid gas based interface reaction Then, as I said before, in the cathodic half cell completely you unused. So why don't we use that cathodic half cell? There was a drawback. So we thought that, okay, why don't we use that uh, uh, cathodic half cell for the reduction of air pollution? So here main problem is, suppose, if you reduce it, suppose if you take cobalt to salt, any salt mediator, if you electrochemical reduce, it directly goes to the cobalt metal. So it's becoming inactive. So we have to stabilize that one. So electron cobalt one is more stabilized or active state. So in order to stabilize, we some metal complexes. These metal complexes stabilize or delocalized electrons, it stabilizes cobalt one is example here. So cobalt one, this cobalt one act as mediator or catalyst to remove many pollutants. So many uh, ligands now are there, uh, like uh, thalocyanin, and perforins, and tetra as a complexes. The, it, it depends on what you want. That means if you want hydrogenous catalyst, so the catalyst can be added on the electro surface. 
then it can be used as an electrode or catalyst. But here again, the air, a pollutant, the air pollutants now dissolve into the solution. Then the solid liquid interface reaction can be achieved. So if you want homogeneous, like cobalt pipette or nickel cyanide or thing, this nickel cyanide uh, solution can be dissolved into the solution through the suitable electrode this lower lower i mean low valent uh, mediator can be generated by applying the electrons then the electro generated mediator can be easily react with the dissolved vocs in liquid dissolved vocs so using this approach uh, another point actually here we have to widen the potential why we need to widen the potential is many fundamental things you known as equation and all uh, may mention if you increase one ph 60 millivolt will vary that is a uh, very fundamental aspect but if you another point in a meet me actually in reduction part if you use acid the hydrogen evolution start quickly maybe 0.2 volt nearly but we can't once start hydrogen evolution we can't do any uh, reduction of our air pollutants or we can't use any generated mediator so in order to widen the potential base medium like KOH or NOH one molar above one molar can be used to widen the potential window. That means if we get the potential window at one volt or two volt without hydrogen evolution, so it's easily we can get wide to make mediator and reaction can occur within the potential window so for the mini air pollutants involved these are the two points one is uh, um, complex another one is ph so we we we, we struggle and we got achieve in nearly 2012 we started this work so mediate electrochemical reduction or electrocatalytic reduction with the electroscopic process. So here we used um, many metal complexes, uh, homogeneous metal complexes, are uh, using um, uh, KOH medium. That means no, we used, oh, we added ten molar KOH. Uh, why? Because now we actually nickel, small ligand nickel cyanide we took because it's highly soluble. Uh, the cobalt cyanide it's a very simple compound, highly soluble. Then in order to stabilize the low valent, so we take nine molar KOH or ten molar KOH solution to stabilize the even electrochemically if you apply. So nickel and uh, nickel one cobalt one stabilized and utilized for. Uh, so many variety of pollutant air pollutants like sf6 cf4 these are the very dangerous chemical especially uh, more than uh, uh, greenhouse gases like co2 more than thousand times n2o no co2 hello us all effectively removed and uh, we got some reported uh, especially we are the group at the time we did we started this work in the world and uh, we are the only guys published many papers in this field actually the only drawback actually we found here is energy efficiency energy efficiency is less because of no wide potential which if you had acid and bases resistance became very high at the membrane so membrane interface so that is the only drawback actually we are moving to next stage uh, because of we need here also there is uh, there there is a drawback of interface like diffusion mass transfer mass transfer process that means 
solubility of the viewers is in liquid medium most of the hydrophobic hydrophobic viewers is it's not easy so we still we are working on that to overcome to overcome actually so here the reaction mediums liquid and the gas interface so as we, as i mentioned here so mass transfer how to minimize the mass transfer that is a big problem headache to solve this problem especially for the hydrophobic viewers is air pollutants but in uh, one possibility is there that means directly that means solid on the electrode directly hit the gases that is one possibility but in the here in uh, our electrochemical field solid uh, gas solid phase reaction is very very less actually so 10 years before only started many work especially for the sensor field so in sensor field they started some metal oxides succerium oxide iron oxide zirconium oxide so these are the metal oxides they used as an electrode they heat to high temperature for the electron transfer phenomena see at room temperature the uh, sluggish electron transfer that means you can't any uh, find any electron transfer for sensor work but electrochemical impedance resistance so through the resistance chain they found uh, some sensor work for solid gas interface reactions so but we need room temperature uh catalytic removal height not high temperature high temperature means no i almost look like a normal catalytic reaction so we need room temperature catalytic uh removal of air pollutants so then we came up we found some uh, points like hydroxide so metal hydroxide sometimes is able to transfer electron at low temperature like even lithium batteries and all even uh, some hydroxides like uh, cobalt hydroxide or nickel hydroxide this hydroxide easily transfer electrons at low temperature so based on that we found now very recently layered double hydroxide what is layered double hydroxide two hydroxide attached uh, on the layered two layer two layer one layer is cobalt one layer is nickel hydroxide these hydro, uh, two layers interconnected by some anions like cobalt uh, carbonate nitrate sulfate so anything you can change it. it depends on what you want so these anions this stabilizes the uh, various oxidation state of our uh, metal hydroxides like cobalt or nickel similar to complex but the structure is layered the layer structures as you know that is similar to like uh, area cnt the carbon nanotubes similar to the area of the carbon nanotubes high surface area so that means no uh, is equal to CNT, but metal hydroxide. So metal art, uh, two types of trivalent or uh, two divalent metal complex can be stabilized by the introduction of you no know, ligands like carbonates, nitrates, sulfate. So in this, because of this, so we interested on that. So why didn't we use these metal hydroxide or LDHS into our field in the room temperature electrocatalytic uh, removal of air pollutants, especially solid gas interfaces? We came across so so many works on this, 
actually this one actually uh, nickel hydroxide for the liquid pollutant uh, sensor work especially so urea they sensed in the urea based on these uh, ideas only just ideas so why didn't we try like that we started some work especially very recently we found some astraldegate gas oxidation astraldegate pollutant oxidation we tried actually the cell setup is totally little different actually this is maybe not very new but some part is new yeah many well known, well known electrochemist knows that actually this is analyte part so one of the half cell is a liquid actually so is a membrane then here one one layer we introduce some solid alkali instead of liquid alkali is actually not completely solid maybe semi solid you can say that humidity uh, maybe a little higher it is uh, many people are using some gd electrode that means gas diffusion electrode the electrode is here maybe gas uh, touch here this is like a uh, foam electrode gas will go inside here solution the here, this uh, conduct kind of conduct like cathode this touch here is like interface so this is very famous for CO2 reduction nowadays uh, so CO2 reduction there uh, started for using GD electrode but still problem is that diffusion rate is very very less so it's not easy to uh, diffuse and you can't get high level or it's still in fundamental stage that's it so we want to overcome this so this gas diffusion electrode problem should be overcome so we thought that why don't we use some gel layer or solid electrolyte then we can use our effective catalyst like foam electrodes like 3d foam electrodes and attach the gel layer in the membrane side then why didn't we try so that is the next level to the gd electrodes we tried actually so this is solid electrolyte and then our catalyst coated electrode so in this setup, uh, here L potatoes come attached to the uh, attached uh, uh, I mean shot on the electrode and it get the products. If of course analyte has liquid, so anything you can change like acid or base electrolytes depends on what you want. So here we used some base electrolyte. Here solid gas phase interaction trial we tried. First, we tried actually cyanated ionian interclade. That means nickel cobalt we took instead of you no know, car, uh, uh, carbonate and uh, sulfate nitrate, we intercalated CN cyanate group CN minus. It look like uh, almost like complexes. So we already we uh, we introduced this uh, method so newly. Uh, we form a uh, nickel cobalt uh, cyanate integrated uh, LDH that's prepared and coat on the nickel foam electrode as a electrocatalyst as cathode or you can say that so astraldegate gas we took as a model air pollutant so here so we instead of uh, we had to think about gel electrolyte. So various electrolytes you know in if you go for uh, lithium batteries, they used PVA electrolyte. So polyvinyl alcohol as electrolyte with K weight, they made some th thin layer cell and uh, they separate uh, they use in membrane uh, diaphragm and the electrolyte and the electrode. So that also we try, but here we tried agar gel as a electrolyte 
it is very common easy to prepare as you know already then we have to make point is no 1 mm thickness gel that's a key point the 1 mm thickness the gel should be so not more than that if you pick a thicker cell gel layer so more resistance become so then energy we need to apply more this is the method we apply um, uh, to you prepared uh, nickel cyano uh, cobalt ligase cobalt and nickel cobalt ligase is well known preparation actually that's just uh, um, um, just a sealing method that's it addition method precipitation method but yes similar method we adopted uh, in, with, uh, in presence of no KCN so we got uh, some good result uh, I mean precipitate then catalyst coating normal drop coating we try drop coat on the, the electrode the nickel foam this is nickel foam quarter uh, I mean um, catalyst quarter nickel foam electrode this is two square centimeter area of the electrode to use the um, our electrochemical cell it is very simple setup it is no uh, very everybody everybody knows actually it's very simple this is actually filter press you can say filter press cell so uh, one side and i mean here oxidation so cathodic half cell uh, here one point one more like isolation pump here so this reference electrode here reference electrode we use cross reference wire actually we the, we coated we prepared on the gold using gold wire we prepared a coat uh, mercury and mercury oxide um, as a reference electrode because of ph is very high above ph is 10 or something we have to use mercury mercury oxide electrodes not uh, silver silver chloride or standard thallium electrodes we can be used so we prepared uh, this you no know, mercury mercury oxide electrodes and uh, so in anodic half cell our coated electrode and we generated here hostile with organ gases purging so online FTR actually we have online FTR as analyzer so gas analyzer not just FTR gas analyzer is continuously can produce uh, we can say monitor the ppm1 ppm2 thousand ppm level or something the concentration measure in situ real time real time measurement although uh, we study so as usual nickel foam and uh, nephion we used as a membrane for cation exchange membrane to separate the anodic and the cathodic half cell broker instrument we used for FTR analysis now if you see the result so once we have to confirm that uh, nickel uh, cyanated i mean cyano intercalated nickel cobalt ligase how to sign it first we have to confirm the two theta value around 11 angle is indication of ldh formation is uh, is already a known one not, not new one so intercalation is a new one so if uh, the uh, depends in cyanated or intercalated the basal spacing is increased that means the so if suppose we only nickel ldh this much space if you add something the space is increasing the basal space increasing so indicates that there is a cyanide intercalation so in the ldh nickel cobalt ldh in, if you took at if you look at this um, picture is almost like floor like picture in both non intercalated and intercalated tiny delta intercalated LDH. but thing is the cyanide and uh, uh, intercalated one is you now nitrogen and carbon is increased more that is uh, another indication 
of uh, LDH, I mean, see, integration occurred in the LDH, nickel cobalt LDH. Of course, you can't see any changes in the structure. So that means, no, the LDH structure is not uh, collapsed. Uh, that's a one good point we found. Because sometimes, if you integrate with along with some uh, anions or something, the total structure, LDH structure, may change. So, lucky that. So we can't find any structural change between after and before inter, um, LDH, uh, integration. LDH structure is keep remained. That's a, another key point we found. But we have to prove not only the surface uh, characterization. We have to prove by some other I mean, electrochemical way. So how to prove the LDH work. So here the main point is the cobalt and the nickel active state. So if you here, if you come here, this peak may be because of the potential is very less. So nearly 0.25 volt this is the nickel 2 to nickel 3 oxidation. For reduction, if we can't find any uh, maybe cobalt 2 to 3 oxidation. But already cobalt 3 is there, so we can't find any cobalt 2 to 3 oxidation. But if in the reduction case, a broad peak will appear. This is like almost 400 millivolt, 0 0.2.5. That means it look like two components could be there. That means no cobalt uh, 3 to 2 or nickel 3 to 2 reduction. But uh, this is very clear confirmation of I mean, nickel cobalt combination is there. But this is just pure uh, cyanated, I mean, cyan uh, nickel cyanated cobalt LDH, just with bad. But in in presence of KOH, but but I quoted with KOH on the electronical cobalt electrodes. First point is the current is tremendously increased, five times higher than bare high So here oxidation, yeah, additional peak we found. We feel that now this could be cobalt. 1 to 2 oxidation. So here your broad peak is there, maybe nickel 2 to nickel 3. But again, here huge wow, broad reduction peak appeared. That's nearly potential between um, point 0.3 to 0.5 volt. So nearly 200 millivolts broad peak. Here again, the because of broad peak, we can say that. Cobalt 2 to 3 reduction and also nickel 3 to 2 reduction in this potential window. So it's very clear that there is a formation of nickel cobalt LDH, especially in the KOH medium, with some unusual uh, state stabilized. So uh, that's a key point uh, to use KOH, highly KOH, uh, I mean 10 molar KOH concentration. Now we, if you, we can move to the oxidation of um, acetaldehyde gas. So keep in mind this work is continuous flow mode, not batch mode, continuously acetyl gas flowing to uh, touch on the electrode and coming out. So exit gas we monitor, this, this exit gas concentration variation during the oxidation of um, acetaldehyde. That means here we applied some potential because no two method we can uh, remove or catalytic remove of any uh, pollutant like 
constant current mode or constant potential mode we used here uh, constant potential mode why because if you cost yeah constant potential mode is expensive we need the expensive instrument little because we need reference electrodes but in constant current any any very battery is okay so using small battery we can apply constant current and we can replace it uh, for the electrochemical reduction or oxidation depends on needs but here we started to use constant potential because of initial work sometimes we feel the complex or ld gauge may be dissociate if you apply a current without controlling the potential sometimes now if you dissociate so the potential becomes very high even in your small current if you apply the potential becomes go to 2 volt nearly sometimes so in order to avoid this situation we started to use constant potential mode here we applied 0.5 volt maximum so if you look at this figure like uh, black curve this is initial direct feed to the FTR that means you now with the bypass the cell that means 12 ppm constantly we applied once now if you apply via the cell so initially there 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 is a some reduction that means the ppm reduced there is a reduction then soon get resumed to original concentration that means only uh, nickel foam this is nickel foam only nickel foam sorry yeah uh, this is not uh, applied current actually this is like adsorption so nickel for ldh or nickel ldh just uh, without any applied current just by uh, through the uh, cell we pass uh, acetaldehyde gas so there is initial adsorption so soon it gets um, uh, level to the initial feed, uh, feed concentration that means you no know, the adsorption saturated in short time that means no adsorptive removal of acetaldehyde by uh, uh, nickel cobalt ldh but at the same time if you apply some current without uh, with, uh, the with uh, ldh suppose if you apply some current see here huge removal that means you no know, initial 13 ppm to 4 ppm or like 3.5 3 ppm nearly huge transition reduced and become constant that's the key point that means there is a oxidation of acetaldehyde but at the same time without ldh only nickel for electrode because we have to confirm that one. so how to check the mediation so in presence absence of no ldhs we try first in presence of ldh as, as i mentioned huge reduction but in absence of ldh only nickel for electrode red color there is a oxidation no doubt but soon it is come out within 40 to 40 minutes nearly so come to the original feed concentration of a staldehyde that means initially there is a oxidation by nickel form electrode but after that so this may be saturation or not catalytic effect we can say many things here maybe uh, Adsorption more of acetaldehyde uh, of nickel foam electrode than also saturate. But in the case of no nickel uh, nickel cobalt LDH coated electrodes, there is a firm oxidation at given potential. So nearly this is about 
70% removal of acetaldehyde constantly. This is called mediated oxidation of electrocatalytic oxidation, catalytic oxidation or mediated electrocatalytic oxidation. You can say that. The point is the first observer is there is a solid gas reaction at room temperature. This uh, it's, this itself shows that there is a solid gas reaction at room temperature. So another how to confirm this mediation? This is a very simple LSD technique. So suppose this is now a reduction current, oxidation current of uh, our LDH electrode in a black color oxidation current actually in uh, in presence of uh, acetaldehyde there is increase it look like smaller but current is very high actually so there is a increase in current oxidation current this indicates that there is a mediation of uh, there is a mediation by our cobalt nickel LDH or integrated LDH. This is very huge indication actually. Then remaining things actually this is very simple like we tried you know, another thing actually. Why uh, here again I wanted to say effect of KOH. Already we see we have seen that you now there, there, there is a stabilization of low valent or uh, high valent state of our cobalt or nickel but another point we found actually if you the reduction efficiency so with without KOH we try so with the with KOH there is a 2 ppm difference or 3 ppm even 15 percent actually initially we tried 13 ppm of uh, uh, yeah, the removal difference is 2 ppm that means if you increase highly the difference is huge become huge so that also a key point we found use KOH that means the KOH certainly confirm the KOH stabilizes the low valent or high valent mediator or it are it may facilitate for the absorption of initial absorption of acetaldehyde on the electrode surface So another point is key variation of parameters we try because now there is very need for the, um, I mean, pilot plant. If you want increase for high pilot plant, high scale, pilot scale. So we need to know how to fix the flow rate and the concentration. So to check this one, we tried actually different flow rates depending on the flow rates we increase the the decrease in uh, uh, removal i mean removal efficiency or oxidation efficiency this is now very linearly decreased that means if you why is decreasing as you know all well right this is like candidate so the we are not allowing time for reaction Suppose now if you high flow rate, because we are applying constantly some particular rate of uh, um, generation of our mediator, the gas rate now if you change or increase, the reaction time is minimized. So the automatically the reaction, I mean, removal or alteration will decrease. Similarly, we tried feed concentration here feed concentration variation uh, the uh, same condition so here too the concentration increase the removal decreation is acetaldehyde ox oxidation is decreased this is very a nice trend we found but so we have to try more um, concentrations uh, here also the same um, mechanism like uh, concentration because now our catalyst is defined not increase we can't uh, increase much the rate also same fixed rate of uh, generation of catalyst and concentration of catalyst fixed 
So if you increase the astrologic concentration, automatically there not enough concentration to meet the astrologic concentration. So if you increase astrologic concentration because of the fixed concentration of our catalyst and the potential, the astrologic concentration if you keep on increasing, so the ratio decrease in oxidation of astrology. So just simply we made uh, some reaction scheme because of uh, based on the nickel uh, we try because of uh, our electrochemical works shows that nickel is maybe the uh, mediator here so electrochemically we can generate nickel 2 to nickel 3 this electro generated nickel 3 react with acetaldehyde gas at the solid gas interfaces give you the products they again nickel to form. This is a very fundamental electrochemical reaction. So it is not a um, new thing. But product identification uh, is getting more intensive work and that is not easy uh, to find out. Uh, because with, without product uh, is not easy to for the real applications or uh, pilot spell uh, application for even if you want to go for patent and all. So that first study actually we tried this one actually even though many people are trying uh, gas phase in the reaction of especially CO2 for CO2 very recently started but our group actually we started for many VOCs but uh, we are trying now toluene or um, benzene we are trying, we got results now and uh, we are going to publish now. Uh, but thing is now, solid gas reaction at room temperature, we succeed a little, not much. But this is uh, initial stage actually. So we have to go more stages for the uh, solid uh, gas reaction steps. So just a little conclusion actually. Um, so, so mainly the here is the, these results unfolds like right? so like solid gas electrochemical reaction of sustainable degradation of air pollutant, especially because of we struggle a lot initially on the liquid uh, how to uh, react of air pollutants in room temperature, especially in the even even without liquid so of late of many or three stages we came across and finally we found now some point so we got the results i thank our, our group here professor kim and the lab students we have some another project actually thank you thanks for your patience Thank you, one and all. Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Muthuraman. Ah, tell me. Thank you. Yeah, it was quite quite informative. And uh, I think you shared a lot of your research towards the electrochemical catalytic studies. And I hope that uh, it will definitely create uh, ideas for uh, many people uh, to start to focus on the research toward this area. So now, with your permission, uh, I just leave the session for discussion. Sure. If any discussion, if any queries are welcome. Any queries from the audience? Uh, Dr. Muthuraman, I have just one question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, in the experimentally, we are talking about the reference electrode that can be used for above pH only. What about the what about the cases below pH? Ten. We can below use, pH we, ten. Uh, we can use another reference electrodes like yeah, cellular right. solar so chloride is, uh, uh, or standard so caramel electrodes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the ref the reference electrode used is only applicable for above pH ten or uh, only specific uh, pH it can work. pH ten above. Above ten. Hmm. Any range 10 to like that, any range or only specific? 
PhD above 10 to 14 that's okay okay but yeah uh, below 10 means no there may be a chance for uh, sulfate or even some alkaloid may influence that mass mercury oxide becomes no mercury sulfate mercury nitrate sometimes so dissolve Oh, that's so uh, that uh, to avoid the interference and all, we have to use it high high pH about oh, that. That's nice. Mm. So any other question, please? That Shamila is there. Hello. Is someone uh, yes, sir. Dolly raised uh, hand. Uh, oh, hey, Dolly. Yeah, yeah. That's what. No. Jolie, you can, you can raise the question. Yes, 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 yes. Jolie, Dr. Jolie. Hello. Dr. Jolie is there? Dr. Jolie is there because he raised the question. So any other question from any other audience? Since Dr. Dolly, I think that he is not adding or something, he has some technical issue. Maybe connecting connection issue. Yeah, maybe. Uh, shall we wait for one or two minutes, please, Dr. Muthuraman? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, because uh, somebody is having some technical issues. Uh huh, sure. Otherwise, Dolly, sir, can put you, you can put your cousin in the chart box. If someone is having any technical problem, uh, kindly put your uh, question in chat box, please. We are extremely sorry for the technical issues, uh, Dr. Muthuraman. Yes, okay. This is common, right? <laughs> because I know it's not easy to for a high fast internet, especially continent. Let us wait for one or two minutes, please. Yeah, sure. Any other persons know if they have any doubts? Yes, yes. If somebody, if anybody is okay with uh, internet issue, I mean, internet to connection, then uh, if you have any question, just raise the question, please. Those who are having technical difficulties, please put your questions in the chat box. And kindly fill the feedback form. Dolly, sir, you can unmute yourself, sir. Dolly, sir. Dr. Muthupandi, is anybody raising question in the chat box? No, sir. Okay, if that is the case, maybe uh, now I would like to call upon uh, Dr. B. Yamini, Associate Prope uh, Professor, to deliver the oath of thanks. Yamini, ma'am? Yes. Good afternoon to all. It gives me immense pleasure to propose the oath of thanks. On behalf of the management and department of chemistry, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, Dr. G. Mutharaman, research professor, Department of Environmental Engineering, Seoul National University of Science and Technology, South Korea, for accepting our invitation and sharing his knowledge on electroanalytic degradation of air pollutants by gen induced triphase interface. I also express my sincere thanks to our beloved chancellor and director for their constant support and encouragement in all our activities. I especially thank our principal, vice principal, dean, heads of various departments for their valuable support and guidance. 
my heartfelt thanks to our science and humanities head chemistry head and all the learning facilitators for the timely help and encouragement in all our efforts last but not the least i thank all our beloved learners technical staffs for their constant support once again i thank you all for your kind attention thank you thank you sir thank you oh oh i i kindly request all of the participants to unmute your camera so that we are going to click a picture is finished one seconds are we are taking the picture sure sir Is Reni still? Is Reni there? No, 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 no. It's not Reni. Yeah, Reni. So all people are interested to go for Diwali, right? Of course. They are in hurry. They are waiting. Yeah, somebody might have already gone. Yeah, yeah, they are waiting. People, all people, are interested to go for Diwali. Morning, sir. Hello. Ah, morning, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Yeah. Yeah. Tell oh, me. Morning, sir. Ah, pardon. I think Dolly sir is a uh, unmute yourself, sir. So. So, so do, oh, Dolly yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm in classroom, sir. But unfortunately, I'm unable to operate mic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So, uh, you, do you have any? Uh, do you have any doubt, Doctor Dolly? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I have doubt. I will send it through mail, sir. Ah, uh, no problem. Ah, uh, Doctor Mutraman. Ah, tell me. If you don't mind with your contact now. Through mail, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and now you can ask Doctor Dolly. You can ask if you want. You can ask. Just ask before taking photo. Just you ask, yes. no problem. Doctor Rolly, you are welcome to ask to raise the question. I think he will interested to, to mail. I think it's okay. So actually, it is a wonderful session, sir. So I clarified uh -huh. all all aspects of electrochemical science and technology. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, uh, it, it is catalytic uh, action for the, or the treatment and of uh, this polluted air. Yeah. So uh, further, I moved uh, some more doubt so I can uh, clarify through mail, sir. So okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Any any more you is okay. Uh, any more is okay. So you can contact me anytime. 
you can get my uh, mail id everything is through trimalaman process trimalaman you can contact any time oh, okay sir okay no problem so i will get it sir okay okay you are welcome always ah oh, okay i will get it and contact you soon sir oh, dr okay. muthupandi okay. is there anything else okay no sir no okay. sir you can you can go sir Okay, as there is no any further clarification, uh, now we'd like to wind up the session. And before winding up, uh, I would like to see, express my sincere gratitude to, to Dr. G. Mutrama on behalf of uh, Savita Engineering College. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks for your all uh, 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 taken. And really, now I had a good time. So I hope you all guys know we had a good time. So we can meet in future. Thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks you so much, Dr. Muthupandi. Thank you. 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 Thank you.